Hi, this is Sai from Music Radar. Um, I'm here on the Bitwig stand with um, Frederick, and we are talking about Bitwig Connect, which is the first hardware device that you guys have created. Um, so your first hardware device, unlike what some people might suspect it to be, it's not a controller for the DAW, but it's kind of uh, closer to being an interface, but a bit more than that. So so why, why this is your first uh, piece of hardware? Yeah, uh, excellent question. Excellent question. Well, Bitwig Connect is what we call more than an audio interface. So it's got all the audio interface features that you would expect, all the ins and outs, the DC coupling, meaning that you can um, control you know, analog hardware like a synthesizer, Eurorack modules, that gives us this kind of extra layer. And then on top of that, we, it's also a MIDI interface. You also have door controls and the special Bitwig mode that I'll show you in a second. So I think it does kind of all of the things that you know you would expect it to do from, from an audio interface, but there's also a controller in there. Tell us a little bit more about um, Bitwig mode, which you've touched on then. So what, what um, specifically can this do then in that mode? I'm just gonna run my little loop here. And anytime I hover over a parameter, I can kind of grab that parameter. making this a very quick and very fast and smooth way of working with, you know, uh, if you just want to control a parameter, if you want to record automation, it's it's very direct. It's right there and it's very smooth. It's a, it's a very um, high precision, high resolution, 360 degree dial. And it's very smooth and very nice to work with. I can also lock onto a parameter by clicking the button again meaning I can free up the mouse, as it were, to do other things while controlling that parameter that I locked. So you've mentioned that this isn't necessarily just something for Bitwig Studio users. Um, so tell us how this integrates with um, like other DAWs. Can you, what, like what, um, what features are there that the, any, any user can make use of? Then? So the aforementioned uh, transport controls, you know, you can uh, play, stop, record, do all the, the typical kind of transport control things using the MCU protocol. So that works with any DAW or most DAWs. Uh, and of course, you get a MIDI interface. You get an audio interface as well. So this can work with you know any DAW as an audio interface. It's a class compliant USB-C uh, audio interface using the USB 2 protocol. So we're backwards and forwards compatible in that sense. So maybe I'll just turn it up like this for a second. So here we have you know, the, uh, the main ins and outs, I should say. So input one is a combined microphone line instrument input. Input two can be a line or instrument. And you have six analog outputs, dedicated headphone outputs, and of course, uh, mini jack for MIDI, adapters included. Looking at the top again, here we have the additional ins and outs. So we have four analog outputs, mini jack, and two analog inputs, also mini jack. And they are all DC coupled, meaning that you, you know you can not only use them for audio, you can also use them to send out CV, gate, and clock, or indeed send things back into uh, you know the audio interface using you know if you have an LFO or a sequencer in the hardware world, the DC coupling of the input is something that is quite rare on the market, so um, you know that's a nice addition to it. Okay, so I'm using our hardware CV instrument device to convert notes into electricity. That's more or less what's happening. Um, sending out the pitch information through the output number nine and gate from output number 10. And we already have some LEDs lighting up here to show us that something's going on. And let's just patch this up. Again, pitch and gate as such. And we're sending the output from the synth back into the audio interface. And we have analog sound in the software with just a few patches and a few clicks. And it's, you know, just this simple patches, you know, a very quick kind of way of showing it, but it just goes so much further than this. And it's so it's kind of it's designed basically these things that Bitwig has been uh, Bitwig Studio has been doing kind of for a few years of like the kind of blurring the lines between hardware and software and modular and things, and you're kind of making making that work. 
Right, exactly. And, and we're actually expanding on that. So I didn't mention before, but the outputs here are factory calibrated, meaning that if you send out, you know, um, one volt per octave through these outputs, Bitwig Studio will, you know, recognize that it's a Bitwig Connect and it knows kind of the specifics of this output. So it should be always on so it makes integration super easy with the kind of hardware exactly. things. There's actually no need to do like tuning, uh, pros uh, you know, with, with other type of um, hardware outputs, you kind of have to tune the system to know, you know, in which range you're operating. But if you have Bitwig Connect, we don't need that. We can skip that. So you don't need that tuning process. You can just patch it straight away and it should be in tune. Cool. So finally, um, can you tell us how, how, what sort of price point this is going to land at and when it's going to be available? Right, so we are hoping to be able to take pre-orders in the next couple of weeks and the thing will be released spring of 2025. Retail price is 499 euro, 549 US dollars.